Guys, I've got a secret class that I've never seen anybody use that I think you're going to enjoy. Is it something that's uh, going to work in multiplayer in Warzone? No. But if you want to change it up when you're playing some Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, this is a good gun to use. If you love a fast sniper with good mobility, very fast aim down side speed, and incredible movement speed, I have the one for you. You're going to enjoy this. It's a Lockwood MK2. Now, you some of y'all have probably seen my TikTok that I made on it. And I want to uh, give the shout out to all of you guys that showed so much support in that video. That video blew up way bigger than I ever thought it would go. And I appreciate you guys on that. Back to the main objective here. This gun is quick. It's fun. And I'm going to show you the class on it. I hope you enjoy it. And let's have some fun. Guys, so this is... Um, okay, okay. So this is, this is the class I use. I'm going to take you through the weapon tuning that I use on this weapon particularly. Um, so the first thing is we I like to use a 25-inch buffalo barrel. The only con that I have with this is that you you actually you don't get to hold as much ammo as some of your other barrels. But this this barrel is kind of like a, a in-between on your 22-and-a-half-inch Alamo barrel and your 21-inch barrel. Um, it gives you more damage, you know, the hip fire accuracy is a little bit better, helps with the no scopes, the movement speed is good, and the bullet velocity is just about as good as it gets for this gun with the barrel attachments. Now as far as the tuning goes, I like to turn my damage range maxed out, and I like to take my recoil steadiness, and I like to kind of like put it right in between probably probably right in here is where I really prefer it. Now you can turn this up and you can tune this gun in any which way you do, but this is the one I prefer to use. That's, that's my tune. And on your, on your scope, I, um, I don't mess with your eye position, but I do turn up flinch resistance just because of how fast aim down sight speed already is. So I leave that there. And on the near stop, um, I don't really care about my walking speed because I don't. I'm always on the run, so I turn up my idle stability pretty much all the way up, and my aim walking steadiness I leave pretty much, and I turn my aim down sight speed up just a little bit. Um, and that takes care of the weapon tuning. So the so the so the weapon attachments I run is a 25 inch buffalo barrel, the VLK LZR seven milliwatt barrel. Not many people use this laser. I like it because when I aim down sight, I can see the laser and it helps me with my centering as I'm aiming in on an opponent. I use the Forge Tech Delta sight. You can change this if you want. I prefer this one because I'm comfortable with it. Um, it's got a smaller sniper glint and it's, it's decent at range as well. And it's really good up close if necessary. And a lot of people use the cut off stock mod scope or stock i don't because of uh you lose a lot of aiming stability if you want even quicker speed and movement speed you can put this on but i use the lockwood bullseye to help me with the stability and like i said the aim down sight speed on this gun is already crazy so that's what i run um so yeah this is the class guys i hope you enjoy let's get on with the video fuck No, he's <laughs> Oh man, I was gonna fuck. Ah, that's a good game. I missed them. Fire. 
this. Let's go. <laughs> I got. I've been having this year. You know, positive. Johnny, go knife that VTOL, Johnny! Kill that, kill that! 